Hello everyone! In today's video tutorial I would like to show you how to crochet this uh, simple circle granny square. This is the basic uh, square pattern that I use for basically all my granny square collection. Uh, the Halloween one, Christmas, Spring Farm and now the Summertime granny squares. Uh, if you haven't joined the call yet, you're still on time. I will uh, leave a link uh, on how to join the call in the description to this video. Um, to crochet this uh, square, uh, I will be using some iron weight uh, cotton yarn and I'll crochet with uh, a 4.5 millimeter hook. So let's get started. Let's start by making a magic circle and uh, we chain uh, one. So this is the magic circle and then I add one chain. And then I crochet 11 half double crochets inside the magic circle. So once we have 11 stitches, 11 half double crochets inside the ring, we can pull the tail of the ring very tightly and we can join the round by slip stitching into the top of the first stitch. So these uh, two loops here. So when you do your um, slip stitch, pull the loop a bit so that the, um, the joining point is, uh, is not loose. And then we are ready for round number two. Now run, round number two is uh, all increases. So it means that we chain one. So this chain one doesn't count as a stitch. So we just go into the same stitch where we joined. So we go back in there. And we make the first two half double crochets in that stitch. Okay. This is our first increase. And we continue making increases, half double crochet increases all around. So in each stitch, we place two half double crochets. One and two. So at the end of this round, we will have 22 half double crochets. Again, at the end of the round, uh, we slip stitch into the beginning uh, of double crochet. So it's these two loops here. So because you see the chain one, the beginning chain one is a bit uh, pulled tightly be below here. And this is the, these are the top two loops of the first uh, of double crochet of the round. Again, pull tightly so that the joining point is not so visible. Okay. And uh, let's go on with round number three. So for round number three, again, we chain one to start. This chain one doesn't count as a stitch. And uh, we start with um, a half double crochet increase, working in the same stitch where we joined the previous round. So we go back in there and we make one half double crochet increase. So we work two stitches in that first stitch. And then we make uh, just one half double crochet in the next stitch. And we continue repeating this. So one uh, increase, one half double crochet. So it means two half double crochets in this next stitch and then just one. So at the end of this um, round, we will have 33 stitches. At the end of the round, again, like we did for the previous rounds, we go into the first uh, stitch, the first half double crochet, and we slip stitch uh, tightly. So you see that the seaming point is uh, visible somehow, but it's not so obvious, and I don't think there are too many gaps. So here we are ready for the next round, the last round of the uh, circle center. Again, we start with a chain one. And uh, again, we have to work increases um, 
to work the increases, you can either start with increase and then after the crochet two, or you can break um, the, you can start with one after the crochet uh, and then make the increase or um, work first two after the crochets and then increase one. Let's go with this one. It it doesn't matter that much. Always check um, what the pattern says because sometimes, depending on um, what I'm uh, making, I'm I write the patterns either with uh, you know the first um, after book crochet and then increase here, or the first two after book crochet and then increase. I mean, so just check the pattern. But the the basic is that we have to alternate one increase and then two after book crochets. Uh, into the next two stitches so now you see I have the increase uh, here so now it's one after book crochet and one after book crochet and then again we go with the increase and then at the end of this round no matter how you uh, increase or uh, I didn't get the stitch there um, so at the end of this round uh, we need to have uh, 44 stitches So at the end, since I started this round with two of the book crochets, now I have to make one last increase. Uh, and at this point, so for this, since this is the um, last round of the circle center, uh, I'm going to switch to my uh, green yarn. Uh, so uh, to switch that, so I could uh, simply um, fasten off like normally, like I could complete this stitch. Um, with yellow yarn and uh, you know break off and then join the other one but I'm lazy so instead of completing the stitch with yellow I'm just placing this yarn uh, behind my work and then I do the yarn over with the new color I pull this uh, loop in green and then I join the round with a slip stitch into this uh, first uh, after the crochet round four And here we go. So I have the new yarn uh, joined. I can cut this yellow. And now we are uh, ready for squaring the circle. To square the circle, I just, again, we start with a chain one, which doesn't count as the first stitch. So this means uh, that the first stitch needs to be worked in the same uh, first stitch where we uh, join the, where we join round four. The pattern for squaring is one single crochet, so we go into that same stitch and we work our first uh, single crochet. And then we make another single crochet, one half double crochet, another half double crochet. And then we double crochet one. Okay, so this is half of the first side. Now we're going to work the first corner. And to work the corner, we work um, one double crochet increase in this next stitch. So it means just two double crochets in this, uh, in this stitch. And then we chain two for the corner. And we work another double crochet in increase in this next stitch. So one and two so two double crochets in that uh, next stitch and you see we have the first um, the first corner so now we're ready to work the side so to work the side we start with a one double crochet then two of double crochets so it means one and another one in the next stitch okay and then we work three single crochets so one and three and now it's the same 
uh, as we did for the first half of this side, but reverse. So it means we we have double crochet two, so one and two. Then we work one double crochet in the next stitch. And again, we're ready for the corner. So it means one double crochet increase, chain two, and uh, another uh, double crochet increase. So we make the first double crochet increase here, chain two, and another double crochet. So now we're ready to repeat the same pattern as we did for this uh, for this side. So it means double crochet, half double crochet two, single crochet three, half double crochet two. double crochet in the next stitch and again make one corner so double crochet increase chain two and double crochet increase and again we go with another side so double crochet Half double crochet two, so one and two, single crochet three, one, two, and three, and then we double half double crochet two, one, and two, double crochet. We work one last corner, so it means. Double crochet increase, chain two, and double crochet increase. One and two. So now you saw that here we started with uh, two single crochets, so it means that we were somewhere here in the middle of the side. So now basically we have to complete this first side as we did for the other one. So we do a double crochet and then we have two half double crochets and you see we have this last stitch which is for the first um, single crochet of the central three and we are ready to join the round again with a slip stitch into the first stitch so we go in there and we pull this loop tightly so you see we got a square from our circle center so now it's just about uh, increasing uh, the size of the square and for that we're going to work in double crochet stitches so this time instead of chain one we chain two okay because double crochet is a bit uh, taller uh, again these two don't count as a chain as a stitch so it means that uh, to start this uh, round we work in the same stitch where we joined so we go in that same stitch the first stitch of the previous round and we make our first double crochet so now we double crochet in each stitch until we get to this uh, chain two space uh, at the corner okay here we are so now we have to work the corner and to uh, to do so for this round we just double crochet one chain two and double crochet again in the same chain two space okay this was just simple double crochet chain two double crochet all in the chain two space so now we can start and we make a double crochets in each of these uh, stitches on the next side. Uh, make sure not to miss this first stitch of the side. So the first stitch goes in here and we double crochet. 
So, and basically we repeat the same pattern all around. So it means we double crochet in each, uh, in each stitch uh, on all the sides and at the corners we just double crochet one, chain two, double crochet uh, one. So I'll continue and I'll meet you when it's time to join. So once we get to the end of the round, as we did for the previous ones, we just uh, slip stitch into this first uh, double crochet to join the round. Pull the loop a bit tightly so that the joining point is a bit uh, closer. And we're ready for the next round. The next round is also a double crochet one, mainly double crochet, but we will have a slightly different corner because we will fill it up a bit more. So we start with a chain 2 as we did for the previous round and again we go and make our first stitch in this uh, same double crochet where we joined the previous round. So we yarn over and we go into that stitch and we make our first uh, double crochet and then we double crochet in each uh, stitch across until we get to the chain 2 corner. And here we go, so this is the last double crochet for the side. So now we work the corner, this time we double crochet two. We chain one and again we double crochet two inside the same chain two space. And this, this is our corner. And now again we just simply uh, double crochet in each stitch on the next side. Um, this time pay extra attention because you know with all the stitches that we put into the corner it's easy to skip this first stitch. You know it can be hidden by the last double crochet at the corner. So really just go in there and be careful not to miss it. And you continue like this. So basically the pattern is very easy, just double crochet in each stitch uh, on the side and uh, double crochet two, chain one, double crochet two in each uh, chain two space corner. So once we are done with uh, round seven, again we uh, join this round by slip stitching into the first stitch. So go in there and pull tightly. And uh, we are ready for round uh, for round eight. So round eight is um, just uh, single crochets. So again, we start with a chain one, and we single crochet in each uh, stitch from the previous round. So we start again from this very first stitch because the chain one at the beginning doesn't count as a stitch, and we go on by making single crochets all around. This time for the corner, so you see here we are at the uh, chain one space um, at the corner, so we go in there, we make one single crochet, we chain one and we make one more single crochet in the same chain one space. And then we continue on the next side uh, with just single crochets. Again, pay extra attention not to miss this first uh, this first stitch. So you go in there and you make the single crochet in there, and then you continue just as we did. So basically, it's all single crochets and single crochet one, chain one, single crochet one for the corner. So once we are at the end of this round. Uh, we can again slip stitch into the first stitch and now we are ready to uh, to fasten off. So what I like to do is to um, just cut the yarn and slide the tail uh, through. Then with a, um, I take a yarn needle, so here we are, and I draw this tail, oh, well okay. We can also just forget the yarn needle. Just insert your hook from back to front and we just draw this tail uh, 
uh, through the back. So this way, it's not an invisible join, but it's still uh, not that visible at all. And we are ready to weave in our ends. And our uh, simple circle granny square is ready. Uh, next week I will uh, upload another video on how to use surface crochet to transform this simple circle square into a 3D flower. Uh, so keep an eye on the channel, hit the subscribe button and uh, leave a like uh, to, this, uh, to this video if you liked it. See you in the next one. Bye bye.